In order to integrate your Bar Cloud account with QuickBooks, there's a few things you'll need to do first. One is you'll need to download and install the Bar Cloud integrator, and this will allow you to actually perform the integration of the software. Once you've downloaded the integrator, you'll also need to make sure that you have QuickBooks running. And finally, you'll need to log into your Bar Cloud account. Once you have QuickBooks running and you're logged into your Bar Cloud account, then double click on the integrator to launch it. And once you've launched the integrator, at that point you'll need to enter your customer key, which will be provided to you, the username for your account, as well as the password for your account. Once you have all that entered, click Login. Once in the Bar Cloud integrator, there's only a couple things you may need to determine, otherwise everything else will actually be set and ready to go. The first thing is, if when you receive inventory against a purchase order, do you want it to create a bill? or an item receipt within the system. Generally most people submit bill, however if you need to change these you can by selecting the appropriate radio button. The same thing can be said for sales order. If you're issuing out against a sales order, would you want that to create an invoice or create a sales receipt? So select the corresponding radio button to make that choice. At this point all you'll need to do is click the sync button on the top right and here we can see by the status menu that it's contacting the QuickBooks database and now we can see here that the synchronization task has been completed. If you have had any difficulties or problems with the integration, you can click on the support tab here and this will allow you to either ask a question of our engineers, report a problem, say thanks to our team, or share an idea that might help other users as well. Clicking on any of these links will take you directly to our community forum where you can pose the questions that you'll need to get the answers that you're looking for. So let's take a look inside of QuickBooks. Here we can see that we have a purchase order. If we open that up, we can also see that we have a couple different line items there with different quantities. Once we did the synchronization, this purchase order was also populated inside of Bar Cloud. So now we'll go back into our Bar Cloud account and we'll select purchase order. Here we can see all the purchase orders in the system. Purchase order 0005 was what we were looking at in QuickBooks. So if we open that up, here we can see the exact same line items, same quantities, and it's coming from the same supplier. So all of the information synchronized and populated the purchase order file here in Bar Cloud. The next step will be to receive against this purchase order. To do this, we'll click Receive. And the first thing we'll do is specify a location where we're going to receive this. In this case, we're receiving this to our warehouse. And then we choose the purchase order that we're going to receive against. In this case, purchase order number 0005. Once we selected the purchase order, we can now see that the line items that were on that purchase order have been populated automatically. So the only thing we'll need to do is verify the quantity that we're receiving. And then once we verified that, we'll click the process button in the top right. Once that is done, we've received against that purchase order which means that we can now synchronize that information back to QuickBooks and we do that through the Bar Cloud integrator. So again inside the Bar Cloud integrator go ahead and click the sync button. Now we can see that the synchronization is completed so let's go back into QuickBooks and if we go back inside of QuickBooks and then click on the transactions tab here and then from there select bills here we can see purchase order number 0005 has been closed and this will confirm that we have actually closed out that purchase order and received all of the inventory that we had ordered.